Hello everybody, this is Cabez Games, and welcome back to another Crossout Dev Server video. Uh, today I got something very short for you guys. And it's going to be a new item that has appeared on the market. Welcome the Elephant. The Elephant is going to be a new epic turreted cannon. This one is at least confirmed to be turreted. It does say turreted on the thing, so we are pretty much guaranteed to have this thing turreted. Uh, Typhoon, we really hoped it to be turreted. The Tsunami, we really hoped it to be turreted. But this one is finally turreted with at least a somewhat long barrel. Not as long as a Tsunami or as a Typhoon, but still a decently long cannon. And we're going to compare it to the Fat Man today. So of course this is a uh, replica of the Hexaconnel T-34 turret, uh, turret with the 76mm cannon. And 76mm uh, is the same as the Judge and the Fat Man, so it's the same caliber. But if you look at the barrel length here, and you do have the pretty large muzzle break in there. And the muzzle break, you do not have such a muzzle break on the T-34 turret. Also the T-34 turret doesn't have a ventilation thing there. Uh, and like this seems to be some kind of composite armor or extra add-on armor plating that is directly bolted onto the uh, turret itself. That you do not see on the actual T-34 turret. And for the ones that do not know, the T-34 is actually a World War II tank that actually existed in real life. And this is just to make uh, made to look alike uh, that tanks turret. So if we can go and grab our uh, fat man here, and you can see the fat man is pretty much two by uh, four by four on the base plate, and has a very small G turret, a very very short gun, it's more like a howitzer. Uh, so like the turret is about as long and the barrel is about four blocks long. And if we go back to the market, and we go back to the elephant here, we can see that the base is still pretty much four by four, but the barrel is about two, four, six, seven to eight blocks long. So the barrel is twice as long as the normal gun, and you do have to take into consideration that you can block off your own gun if you cannot turn it fully, and that means that um, if you want these, if you want these to like stand next to each other, you want one here and then basically one here, and you want them to be able to turn through the center and then face backwards, you need to have some further apart than the fat men's have to be, because otherwise the uh, the gun will not be able to elevate over the other gun, and it will not be able to pass it. But other than that, we do have some parameter changes, of course, between these two. So uh, for the ten power score and three and a half bar from the max. Compared to the Fat Man, is three bars to the max, so slightly less damage. It says, and a 410 on the power score is both the same. Now we're gonna go uh, check the fire rate. Two, just over two, and the range is four from the thing, so two and a half, four, and accuracy is four and a half. So two, well, two and a quarter, four, four and a half, and then. Okay, uh, the Fat Man has a lower rate of fire, but does have a perk based around reloading. So, because it has a reloading perk, it will end up being, having probably very, very similar reload times. The range it seems to be the same. Accuracy of the Fat Man is slightly better at 5 instead of 4.5. So, um, for the fact that uh, the other one has uh, like overall better base rate of fire and a different perk, the Fat Man is then in turn compensating for accuracy, it seems to be. Of course, I do not have actually raw stats, only can, I can only like judge from these bars and then just um, like make assumptions from there on. And this actually feels kinda counterintuitive because the, auto, uh, the fat ban is very back open, which in return would make it very easy to reload because there's a lot of space in the back and has a very short barrel that ha should have very low accuracy. And uh, so it's kind of weird to think that that thing ha would have the higher accuracy, but the lower rate of fire than this one. It kind of fuels the other way around. But the durability on this thing is nuts. It's 730 points and also 1300 kilograms of mass. Back to this one, 1215 mass, so it is lighter. And 692 is also slightly less in terms of health. 
But now we do have, well, the elephant in the room, pun intended here. It's going to be the perk. After a shot fired, the weapon's resistance to all damage type except for energy increases by 20% for 4 seconds. And I'm not sure what I would have to feel about these kind of perks, to be honest, still. Like, perks are still kind of interesting, but at the same time, it's like, it's kind of unrealistic. So, I'm not sure how to feel about a perk like this. So, especially since it doesn't work for energy weapons. It's going to further increase, like, people wanting to play energy weapons. Helios, for example, is going to be a very good gun against this then, because it would simply fully nullify that perk. But 20% is actually quite a bit with this thing. It is 146 health. So effectively, if you can get it right, you can get 876 health out of this thing. And I think that you can easily, like, even in combat scenarios that you're, re uh, like, during your re reloading, like, you only have those four seconds. It's not, it's not until you are reloaded or anything, but just for four seconds, uh, you can probably have an effective health about of about 850, maybe uh, between 830 and 850. That's probably going to be the effective health of this thing, and that's quite a lot for a gun like this. I also have to add that the gun barrel does seem pretty favorably placed, that you can actually put a slope in the front here and hide one third as it seems for the height of the gun. So it seems, it only, uh, seems to be tree high, similar to the fat man, uh, fat man, which is also only tree blocks high. But in return, you do have the slightly larger turret ring. I cannot actually put this thing on a ca uh, on a build because I actually haven't got it on my account. I can only see it here in the uh, market. And actually, I got a uh, warning from one of the other content creators that it actually was on the server now. So that's why I decided to make a video on it. So shout out to Gromac, real quick. Thanks for uh, pointing it out. But yeah. Another very interesting thing to look at this is the 76mm, this is the description here. 76mm tank cannon is one of the most massive weapons from the Great War. Okay, massive weapons, bruh. They had the mouse. That's 128. That's 128 millimeters on a 188 ton tank. This this gun is 1.3 tons, which is also pretty unrealistic weight. I must say, guns like the uh, like I think this turret was like five tons, six tons, and now it is automated and everything because well there are no crew loading it, so it should be even heavier. But as I gonna discuss for another time. But anyways. Now it continues serving aboard the Ryzen. The Ryzen is what I expect to be a new cab, uh, his new uh, pack vehicle. That's the only thing I can think about is like aboard a specific car. And I'm not sure whether we have any other build that actually says uh, like any other thing that says something like that. Uh. Don't see it anywhere there. Don't see anything like saying about uh, launcher harp right now. Like no single. Well, actually, the echo kind of says something. The power of guys metal is the apocalypse, and you are is horsemen. So the horsemen of the apocalypse. You know, like, that one kind of says something about about what it is getting used by. Mm, maybe Tacklers? Nope. Yeah, I, 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 it's just very, very weird to see a, this, like, something like that stand in there. And, of course, I have seen the leaked videos for the people that are actually watching and probably already typing... Oh, but uh, that's the leak, leak, leak. Um, I can officially not talk about his leaks, and I can only base my assumptions of this, uh, of this stuff. I can actually not talk about the uh, of those things officially, and because of that, please do not comment down below about those leaks. I will have to delete those comments. So don't waste your energy on typing those things. But yeah. I do think it's going to be on a new pack. 
pretty sure. And of course, basically, I'm actually confirming it myself by actually saying, like, you cannot leak about it. Yeah, it's going to be actually a new pack part, but that's all I can really say. So, we have had a lot of packs over the years, of course. And, uh, some more interesting than the others. And the old ones, I do really still like the old ones, and uh, since I actually basically got into the game with these packs being around. And uh, some of the cabins from there, such as the Carapace cabin here, are still in the game, and you, you very rarely see them because they are rare and not epic uh, cabins. But if they were epic cabins, they would actually be really, really cool to have around. And they actually were in the game before Epic Cabins even existed, so that's just how old those uh, those good fellas are. But yeah. Anyways, enough rambling from me. Uh, what do you guys think about this gun? Uh, like it definitely looks cool, and I'm definitely happy to have a T thirty four esque turret back. And um, actually, I'm gonna uh show a different turret on the thumbnail because that was actually that's going to be the old t34 gun turret from the game and uh so you can basically compare it to the very very old initial fat man model so that was the first model for the fat man and this is based uh, but, and then you got this model with with a, with a long gun then this model with the short gun and now we kind of went for a full circle with the elephant here uh, yeah, uh, of course, fat mans aren't really meta or anything, uh, and this probably will not be meta either. But it will definitely make for a very cool gun or turret for art builders. Because even if you aren't putting it on a T-34, you can probably put it on something else. And it's a turret cannon with a longer barrel. And I'm really happy with long barrels coming back. And I really want to see just bigger bigger turrets like abrams or something <laughs> but anyways uh that said i do very much hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys